It is a country where breathtaking landscapes of forests, mountains, castles, and legends merge with world-class technologies. This is Germany, and we've invited Ambassador Stefan Auer to Morning Special to enlighten us on Germany's wonders and culture. Morning Date starts now. I'm very excited. I have the incredible pleasure of sitting down with none other than the German ambassador to Korea, Mr. Stefan Auer. Well, thank you for coming to the show, sir. Good morning, Kaleen. Thank you for having me here. Well, thank you for coming. And what time did you have to wake up to get here? Don't, don't, don't mention it. It's just too <laughs> early for me. <laughs> it is very early, right? So we really, really thank you. Mm. Well, before we start with the interview, we, we are going to give our listeners a quiz question first. Germany boasts a world-renowned festival that happens in October. It is known as October what? Is it number one, October stick? Or number two, October land? Or number three, October fest? It's a very popular festival. German boasts a world-renowned festival in October. It is known as number one, October Stick, number two, October Land, or number three, October Fest. If you know the answer, use our Pandi board or Kikautok Plus, or you can send it to pound 1045 as well. 그리고 오늘 특별한 선물 준비했습니다. 퀴즈 정답과 사연 보내주신 분들 중 다섯 분께요. 저희가 베스트 독일 여행책을 선물로 보내드리도록 하겠습니다. Well, let's start with the interview now. So, sir, I heard that you arrived in Korea late last year. Absolutely, yes. How has it been so far in Korea? Great, great. I really enjoy being here. So, Korea is treating you well? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you travel Korea yet? Yes, I did. I traveled a lot. Where did you go? Well, to different places. I went to the south, uh, I went to the south southeast, I went to the west, uh, everywhere, you know. Everywhere. Yeah, almost. Well, maybe you've done more traveling than me. <laughs> I don't know. Domestically. Well, have you also picked up on some Korean? Um, a bit, yes. I'm, a I'm, bit. I'm trying to learn Korean once a week. I have a, a lesson. Wow. But it's not easy. It's not easy for us. Yeah, it's hard learning a different language, right? It always is. <laughs> it That's always right. is. But it's nice to learn Korean because, you, I mean, through the language, you get to know the culture and the people in the country. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm, I know a lot of people learning German, but mm -hmm. they say German is the hardest language out of all the Western languages. <laughs> Well, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's definitely not easy, but uh, I don't know whether it's the hardest language. In any case, I think compared to Korean, it's quite easy <laughs> from my <laughs> point of view. <laughs> okay, well, for me, Korean's easier, <laughs> way easier than German. Well, you know, we talked about you traveling here mm -hmm. in Korea, and you said you've been to all corners of Korea. What about in Germany? I think our listeners are very interested in where to go to when we go to Germany. Mm -hmm. Do you have many, uh, do you have maybe top three destinations that you would like to recommend? Wow, well, that's very difficult to say because, you know, uh, Germany is a federal country. It has diverse regions with different um, cultural identity. Um, you can, well, if you look at the landscapes, for instance, we have wonderful landscapes, uh, the Black Forest, for instance, the Alps, um, the ocean, you know, the coast. Then we have wonderful cities as well, Berlin with the Brandenburg Gate, we have Cologne with the Dome, and of course we have also uh, very nice castles, with Castle Neuschwanstein, for instance, in Bavaria, which is in a magnificent setting. Mm -hmm. But if I were to pin down three places or cities, I would say, First of all, Hamburg. Hamburg, why Hamburg? Because it is now it's going to host the next G20 summit. And it's, it's a wonderful city, port city, harbor city, our gate to the world. And it has this land, landmark, this new landmark of the Elbe Philharmonie, wonderful concert hall. Uh -huh. And this will host, as I said, the G20 summit. So you shouldn't go there during the summit. But, but after? After, it's better. <laughs> okay. The second place would be Dresden, for instance. For Dresden uh, and the Frauenkirche, the church which was destroyed uh, during the Second World War, but then rebuilt after unification. And now it stands there, this baroque, wonderful church for, for reconciliation and unification of Germany. And the third place, I would say, which is a personal favorite of okay. my side, is a, a beautiful little town in Bavaria, which is called Regensburg, Ratisbon, also known. And for centuries, this city was the permanent seat of the imperial diet of the Holy Roman Empire. So there's a lot of history and tradition there. And is now the medle medieval center of the city is the UNESCO World Heritage. And it, why is it so personal to me? Because my mother comes from there. Oh, what was the name of the city again? Regensburg in German. Uh -huh. And I think it is translated into Ratisbon in French, for instance. Okay. It's in Bavaria, yeah. 
음흠. 보이는 라디오 보셨으면요 함부르크 드레스덴 리근스포크 다 보셨을 텐데요 대사님께서 추천하시니까 저도 한번 꼭 가봐야 되겠네요 Well not only cities and culture but there are a lot of staple festivals that happen in Germany uh, Could you recommend something for a cultural experience in Germany? <laughs> well of course we have the Oktoberfest everybody knows it and everybody goes there more or less <laughs> I have, this, this is the feeling I have having been to the Oktoberfest That's in München, of course, but there are other places. If you want to party, you can also go, and you should also go to the carnival sea, uh, during the carnival season to, um, you know, the cities on the Rhine, Cologne, for instance, Dusseldorf, Mainz. These are the places you should go during carnival. Uh -huh. But um, yes, this is something you should really experience in Germany, which is very interesting. And for classical music, of course, for music lovers, there's this Wagner Festival in Bayreuth, which is also a must. Mm. Wagner Festival. I've heard of it because yeah. I love classical music. It's one of those festivals that I really want to go to. So hopefully one day I'll get to travel Germany. But that's the thing. Germany has so much right to offer. Every city is so unique. And as you mentioned, it's hard to pinpoint mm -hmm. where to go, right? Mm -hmm. So I think that's really hard. But where to start? Should we start in Berlin or should we start? Well, normally you 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 arrive in in Frankfurt or or in Munich uh, as 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 the you know the entry point to Germany. Uh -huh. So you can yeah, if you start in Munich, you can start with the Oktoberfest, for instance. And uh -huh. if you survive that Oktoberfest, you can always go to other places as well. Of <laughs> course, survive the Oktoberfest. Berlin definitely is also a very nice city because in Berlin you have really. You, you can really feel the modern history there, the separation, the, the, the two, the world war, the second world war and the division of our country and the overcoming of that division. Mm. So this is very exciting to be there. There's a lot of cultural and startup scene there as well. 네, 문화가 아주 풍부한 나라 독일인데요. What about food? I mean, have you tried Korean food? Absolutely, of course oh, I did. Which is your favorite? Oh, it's, um, you can't say. I have so many things, but I, I particularly love bibimbap. Oh, bibimbap. It's pretty healthy. It is. First of all, it's healthy. Well, all Korean food is more or less healthy, mm -hmm. uh, unless you exaggerate, of course. <laughs> but uh, um, I love bibimbap because you, you, you mix, you know, different ingredients with a spicy sauce. It's, it's, it's very good. It's excellent. So view. you're okay with spicy? Yes, I like oh. spice hot food. And um, I also appreciate very much Korean barbecue. And why is that? Because, you know, it's, you socialize very easily over Korean barbecue. You get together around, you know, this grill with your friends or your family, mm -hmm. have a beer with it, and you have, it's a lot of fun. So yeah. that's why I like it as well. That's right. When you break food, when you break bread, mm, that's when you really you know, get to know someone. Yeah. Then what about German dishes? You know, I'm familiar with haksen, <laughs> which is very similar to Korean chukbae. No, right? Yes, mm. yes and uh, sauerkraut. Is mm -hmm. that how you pronounce it? Is, Absolutely. Or sauerkraut. Well done. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's it's like pek kimchi, right? Yes, a Korean style white kimchi. But also sausages are uh, some staples from Germany. What other foods would you recommend? Well, you know, coming from Bavaria, I would very much recommend, um, and this is my favorite dish, by the way, roast pork with mm -hmm. dumplings and a brown sauce oh. and some cabbage salad with it as a side dish and that mm -hmm. all goes with a beer nice bavarian beer of course this is just delicious you should really try that one yeah so german people really like meat right yes but we we don't only have meat and mm -hmm. and, and uh, beer <laughs> or sauerkraut <laughs> right. we also have different stuff uh, uh, we have a lot a uh, big variety of breads for instance mm -hmm. so for bread lovers germany is the country with 600 different kinds of breads and rolls and pastries so it's really a bread country wow uh, you should try that one as well and by the way also at the upper end of the kick of our cuisine we have uh, quite a lot to offer i think the last michelin 2017 um, gave 10 stars to uh, oh, 10 three stars mm -hmm. rest, uh, to german restaurants uh, which means that we are now the fourth country in the ranking uh, with the most stars in in the world 네, 독일에 가면 소세지뿐만이 아니라 정말 다양한 빵도 많이 즐길 수 있다고 합니다. All right, before I move on, let me remind you of the quiz question that we had. Germany boasts a world-renowned festival in October. It's known as what? October number one stick, number two October land, or number three October fest. If you know the answer, use that pundi board or Kakao Talk Plus for free or text to pound 104.5.
We have some messages from our listeners. Tugo Nim says, 2001년도에 독일을 방문하고 너무 인상이 깊었어요. 지금도 틈틈이 독일어 공부도 하고 있는데 내년에는 가족들과 함께 독일 여행을 꼭 다시 가고 싶네요. Our listener went to Germany in 2001 and studying Germany, uh, German, so that uh, he could go with his family next year again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Speaking the language, it's easier to get around. Of course it is. Of course it is. And I think I've I've met so many Koreans who speak uh, German so perfectly, almost flawlessly. You know that we've had uh, quite a lot of nurses and miners going to Germany in the 60s. And I met many of them and they speak German more better than me. (laughs) Oh, perfectly. Well, we have the other way around too. A lot of Germans speaking Korean perfectly too. It takes a lot of effort. (laughs) Uh, 0789님 says, 마침 올해 가을에 가려고 준비 중이에요. 진짜 너무 좋습니다. Uh, 0789님 is going to go this fall to Germany. So maybe you can check out yes. Hamburg or Dresden or uh, Ligstpok. <laughs> Regensburg. I know, that's, oh, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a hard one. <laughs> yeah, okay, one more time. Regensburg. Regensburg. Uh, Regensburg, okay. I should have picked another city. <laughs> it's okay, it's, it's great. I mean, we should go and visit your mom's hometown as well. <laughs> uh, Suminim says, Ambassador Stefan, thanks for this nice interview. Uh, by the way, you have the same name with my husband, which makes me feel familiar to you. Thank well, you. Well, the German pronunciation is Stefan, right? Stefan. Yeah, Stefan, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Stephen in Absolutely. English, I guess. So I don't know. Suminim is your husband's name, Stefan or Stephen. <laughs> you should tell us that too. All right, we're going to take a song break. Here is Nicole, A Little Peace. We are back with our conversation with the German ambassador to Korea, Stefan Auer. Our listeners are very excited today for this interview, and we actually had someone send in a uh, a message in German. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't uh, read German, but you said something like they're bringing, uh, they are inviting a German family over, right? Yes, they're inviting the parents-in-law um, to come to Korea, and so they're very excited about that. Oh. Oh, okay. It's so Sumi who, who wrote a <laughs> message on that. So that's fantastic. Yes. Great. Yes. Thank you, Sumi. They're going to have a great time here. Yes, of course they will. I mean, Korea is also a land of culture as well, right? Very welcoming as well at the yes. same time. Well, we are EBS and we should talk about education too, right? <laughs> so, I mean, Germany, if you look at that country, <clears throat> uh, so many educational leaders came out, not to mention, of course, Albert Einstein, a great scientist. And also, it's a land of great classical musicians like Beethoven, Mendelssohn, and Bach. I mean, how do you do it? What do you think is the secret of Germany? Oh, also, this is very difficult to say. But I think at the end of the day, what, what is important is that the German uh, education, research and, and science system is very decentralized and has quite a big variety and uh, diversity. You know, we have universities, we have non-university research mm-hmm. organizations, and we have the industry working hand in hand. And that is very important. The cross-fertilization this is very important. So Germany has, by the way, also the, the strongest and, um, and uh, highest concentration of universities, non-university research centers and companies. Mm-hmm. So that makes uh, perhaps one of the, this is one of the secrets of the German success in that area. But you know, to achieve excellence, you need internalization. So internationalization is key to that. And um, we want many researchers and scientists from the world to come to Germany and you know, do their job there, their research and and uh, are active in that area. Mm-hmm. Um, take and we have we have many institutions which organize and finance the, the the stay in Germany. Take for instance the Humboldt Foundation, which support excellent scientists coming to Germany um, to to uh, and offer them research stays um, in, in Germany. Mm-hmm. But I think one of the most important elements of the German education system is uh, the vocational training and the dual education. I see. Um, which also contributes to 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 a very low, comparatively low, uh, youth unemployment rate in Germany. You right. know? This vocational training uh, forms young people precisely according to the uh, needs of the labor market and of the companies. So they get more practical training. Absolutely, at, but at the same time also theoretical tra- training. So mm. they go for three days, let's for instance, uh, to the company and two days to school. Mm-hmm. So and after three years, they are, you know, 
absolutely formed to one specific job which is needed in a certain company so they will definitely get a job there. Mm-hmm. 독일의 비밀은 바로 교육의 다양성과 세계화 또 그리고 이론과 실습을 아주 잘 접목한 거라고 말씀해 주셨네요. Okay, well, we're running out of time, Ambassador. Oh, oh I'm so sad, but I'll before, <laughs> oh, thank you. You made a promise on okay. here, so you'd have to. Well, before you go, we ask this common question, 나에겐 모모란, here in Korea, and we also do here. It's a question that aims at asking a person about the significance of his or her dream, passion, and current job. So, Ambassador, what is Korea to you? 대사님께 한국이란? Korea means to me democracy. Mm-hmm. Prosperity, dynamism, culture, tradition, wow. hospitality. But I think most importantly, it means to me friendly and welcoming people. That's really good to hear. I think that's the best compliment any foreigner can give to anyone living in Korea. Because we want to be friends for everyone who comes in. And you are. Yes, thank you very much. And thank you are you our much. best friend now. You're coming back. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you for the interview at this Thanks for having morning. me. Yeah, thank you. Uh, we had a quiz question. 네, 10월에 열리는 독일의 축제는 October Fest이죠? Number three was the correct answer. Well, thank you very much once again, and we'll see you again. See you again. Thank, thank you very you. much for having me.